Hi, I'm Jim Mowry from Backrack. Uh, we're here today to talk a little bit about the PGM infrared leak detector. One of the things I'd like to do is start off by uh, explaining that uh, these things are handled by a lot of different technicians and they're passed around a lot. So one of the things we'd like to do first is to make sure the settings are correct. So that maybe somebody has changed it or altered it. Um, it's important that it's set correctly to give you the best response. So what I'm going to do is uh, get uh, uh, a good picture of the uh, menu, show you how to get into the menu and some of the features that are on the menu uh, to make sure that it's set up correctly. So the first thing I'm going to do is enter the menu by pushing any one of the arrow keys. Once I've pushed the arrow key, uh, I'll get the first top menu and there'll be a small carrot next to the uh, area that I want to, uh, to enter or, or alter. And that carrot is moved around with the arrow keys. As you can see, it now has moved over to the word false. That's one important feature. If there is a problem with the unit, it's self-diagnostic. Uh, it will display the fault code. Once I've moved the arrow over to false, I hit enter. That's going to give me the fault screen. And I push the back arrow, and I can see the last fault, which is an 0800. 0800 indicates that the wand or the tube or the filter has become clogged with dirt or debris. So I know immediately what my last problem was. If my uh, purge filter on the front is, is clogged up, it would be an 0100. So being fully self-diagnostic, it gives me a handle on exactly what problems I might encounter. To leave that menu, I just hit the escape silence button. If I have problems with the unit, I can move my carrot down to diagnostics and have a look at what's going on in the unit. These values would be shared with a technician from Bacharach if there's a problem and we'd be able to diagnose it over the telephone. Leaving that menu with the escape key again, I can go down, arrow down, and it's next to the word gas type. I can now enter the gas type and I can change my gas type with my up and down arrow keys. It's on 404A, 407A, there's 38 different gases to choose from. So I like to leave it on 404A. Um, you can change it to uh, uh, any gas that you want that's uh, the pr predominant gas in the area you're doing your leak checking. And once you've changed it, you hit enter to lock it in. The next one below gas type is the range. And this is important from the standpoint of the tick rate and that light blink and the beep sound responds at various uh, levels based on the tick rate and the tick rate under range should be 10. I hit enter to go into it and you'll see it's 10. If you were to increase that to 100 the tick would be much slower at a low ppm level. If you lowered it to 5 it would be much faster at a lower ppm level. 10 is a nice area to start with it responds quickly at lower PPMs and it gives you a good readout um, letting you know when you have encountered gas. So factory setting is 10, leave it on 10, enter to lock it in. The rest of the menu has to do with different areas if you were going to use it as a, a, a stationary leak detector. So what we want to do is make sure when we get it that in the menu under audible alarm the audible alarm is leak detector. If it says anything else, and I'll change it to show you, off, any alarm, system fault, leak alarm, spill alarm, evac, monitoring stopped, it should always be leak detector. If anyone has changed that, it's not going to act right for you, and you're going to think you have problems. So always make sure that audible alarm is set to leak detector. You can set the clock from here, you can check the loop output, which is uh, part of the, the 4 to 20, which when it's set in monitor mode you would use, but in normal leak detection operation, that is not used. So as I scroll down, I can get back to my main menu, and I hit escape. Once I go to escape, it'll save any changes I made, and it'll purge itself and go back into leak detector mode and start to measure for me. So if you get it, you don't think it's right, or you just want to validate and make sure it's set correctly for you on leak detection, go into that menu and check those settings. Thank you.